the anechoic chambers have now been opened to reveal the cross section or the opening from the front this is the transmitter chamber it consists of a stepper motor mounted at the base of the pyramids you can identify the transmitter by watching that all the four sides or all the five sides of the anechoic chamber has got microwave absorbing pyramids on all the four sides it helps that if you're using an isotropic source as the transmitting antenna then we get a planar wavefront at the exit of the anechoic boxes now each of these boxes they are shielded as well and they are encased in an aluminium paneled on both the sides and jointed through aluminium cross sections for ease in serviceability the ridge horns or log periodic or dipole antennas can be mounted at the base of the the rotator provided with the anechoic boxes now i'm showing you the receiver the receiver also has got a stepper motor connected at the base of these wedges now these wedges have been specially made on all the four sides so as not to disturb the phase of the incoming signal and the back of it it's again the pyramidal wedges at the back end each of these microwave absorbers are polyurethane foam impregnated with electrical and magnetic absorbing formulation it's a patented formulation which allows us a very good attenuation in the range of over 40 dbs from a frequency of 1 gigahertz right up to 40 gigahertz they are painted with a flame retardant finish so as to be safe in an indoor environment i will try and fix up the stepper motor rotators and the cables to show you the chamber in operation